Can I go? I'm Maximilian Missoni, and this is Polestar 4. But I can, I can now, when we go to the side, now we do cut to the side and then you <laughs> see the fast. I mean, look at this. Look at this roof line. Normally, you need to provide for a good rear view with the inner rear view mirror, in any car, really. But we have realized that technology has reached a point where you can switch out the physical mirror with a digital display and an HD camera. I would like to point out the camera, but then I don't know if you will see it from where you stand. It's this is the rear window. What that means is we could now take the rear header structure and move it rearwards. Can I, I can't open the door, can I? No. This doesn't just improve the range of the car, but it allows for something else that is truly special. I really like to do this. Look at that. This car has an extremely spacious rear seat. I will uh, demonstrate that if you come with me. Can you do me a favor? Can you sit so that you're comfortably in the front seat and move your seat in that position? But now you're, uh, yeah, now you're comfortably driving. Yeah, sure. Really? Yeah. That's even more than I thought. <laughs> and then I do this. The reclinable seats in Polestar 4. Remember when I talked about the long wheelbase? Well, look at this. The leg room I have here, the here are my knees, there's this much to the front seat. It's absolutely incredible. And in combination with the camera system, I can sit extremely upright and comfortably in this car and still have quite a lot of space above my head to the glass roof. Let's go to the front. Let's talk about headlights. At Polestar, we call our light signature the dual blade. This is the daytime running light. And the functional headlights are hidden underneath. <laughs> the illuminated star. The thing is, often logos are illuminated through the whole emblem. We didn't like that. We thought it was way more sophisticated if you had a halo effect, the light just on the outside of the logo. So the logo could be in our signature body color finish, but you still have a beautifully, elegantly illuminated logo. All right. Maybe inside would be a good time now. In the interior, we did something new. We created a new concept called soft tech. Soft tech is inspired by fashion and sportswear. We're using a 3D knit material that we call TechKnit. It's on the dashboard and it reaches all the way into the doors. The beauty of it is that it is made from 100% recycled yarn and it lets light shine through. At Polestar, we pride ourselves on our very easy to use and intuitive interfaces. We have a split of the map on the left side and on the right side, we have four widgets, phone, for example, Bluetooth. Bluetooth. And there's one really special thing. That is our lighting app. When you press it, you get a view of the planets in our solar system. And you can change the light by going to, let's say, Venus. So the whole interior is dipped into a much warmer tone. Or Earth. Let's look at Earth. Now, we could try to switch lights off and really show the amb ambient light. That would be a fun little thing, this dark thing with me in the dark. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about power. Polestar 4 produces out of a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, 400 kilowatts, or for more old school people like myself, 544 horsepower, which accelerates it in 3.8 seconds from zero to 100 kilometers an hour. My top 10 features of Polestar 4. Can I? Do that. And now, my top features of Polestar 4. The illuminated Polestar logo, the dual blade headlamps, the frameless rear view mirrors, the rear window, the incredible rear space, the reclinable rear seat, the planet lighting app,
I just realized something. We did talk a lot about uh, 3D technique and stuff, but we didn't say that the car also comes in leather, of course. Okay. Or maybe we can do something in the video, you know? You can maybe do a graphic uh, effect or something.